All my life, I've grown up in the great city of Austin, Texas. I've always grown up in the suburbs, and in the city and suburbs, there was no real opportunities for agricultural engagement. However, one day, my dis dad decided to take me to the rodeo. And in the rodeo, we rode rides and such, but one thing that really caught my attention was the ag barn. And in the ag barn, there were these great cattle showmen who showed cattle twice their size, and there were these boards that I could learn from and what the animals ate and what they drank and how they were cared for. I also learned about the different breeds of cattle, which I didn't even know of their different types. Now, this all may not seem important at the time, but what it really taught me was that agricultural literacy is very important for these urban areas as many kids and adults may not know how food comes to their plate. Now, some ways we can improve that is by having a fun element for kids to learn from, by having representatives teaching and demonstrating what goes on in agriculture, and by having opportunities for education at places that people regularly visit, not just once a year. Now, focusing on kids is very important. We need to do this because they are the future of our generations. They are going to lead us in agriculture and they are going to teach the younger de generation after them too. We can really do this by incorporating a fun element for them as other methods may not be as engaging for them. One way people have done this is at Rodeo Austin's Hank the Cow Dog's Ranch Life. In this, there are visual activities and activities you can do with your hands that teach about how ranchers work their cattle, how they feed their cattle, and how they come to their plate. Now, all these fun activities in ranch um, agricultural teach ag literacy and they provide interests for the future. They provide them um, the opportunities to go forward and learn more in agriculture. While having boards up teaching and reading about this is very important for some learners, for other, other audio and visual cues are needed. At the Rodeo Houston, there's a milking demonstration done by Ag Venture. And in this, there is a representative teaching about how cows are milked, where the cows fr come from, and how they're taken care of. Now, this is very important for those who may not be able to read well or those who can only use audio, audio cues. And by doing this, we can create some more engagement through having a cow up there, as many people in these urban areas have never seen livestock and have never experienced livestock working such as that. Now having these great events like rodeos are very helpful, but one thing that we don't put much work into is having opportunities for ag literacy on a regular day basis for the public. One ways I have seen this is at the at a and m Ag Extension Booths at Farmers Markets. Many people don't know the relation between the farm and the food, and the Ag Extension Booth really helps us. They teach on a certain plant in the season, and they also teach how that plant is industrially farmed. By doing this, more people it can reach the booth, and the booth is there all year. You don't have to go there just once. This way, people can also take a part home and plant seeds at their home to learn how this plant is farmed. By doing this, we can really create engagement and we can really improve reaching more people with our ag literacy. All these factors combined really improve the hope for our future to learn more from agriculture. We can really reach the kids and we can reach those who are audio are visually impaired by doing this we can create engagement and we can inspire more little kids who want to 
come and join FFA and who want to come and experience agriculture like me at the rodeo.